I'm Claire Stein and I'm from Presentation Secondary School, Trilly, County Kerry. My title is uh, Under the Influence Drinker Diet and it's about breathalysers and how people uh, with diabetes or on very low calorie diets can cause breathalysers to give false positive results. And uh, I proved that um, there's a natural alcohol on people's breath uh, uh, when they have diabetes or when they're on a very low calorie diet and it's called isopropanol and it will interfere with the breathalysers um, but it won't cause a very high percentage so it wouldn't put you over the limit in Ireland where it's 0.08% um, but it could put you over the limit in countries where the limit is 0.02% I like chemistry a lot and I also uh, found an article on the internet about a Swedish pilot who um, was a teetotaler and he didn't drink any alcohol uh, he was on a diet uh, it was a very strict diet and he, um, he had a breathalyzer installed into his car and when he actually uh, did this breathalyzer test it uh, went positive for alcohol and uh, it was turned out that it was because of his uh, diet uh, the chemical on his breath was isopropanol and uh, it's an alcohol so it was what was affecting the tests. So I actually managed to find a method uh, for distinguishing between uh, the isopropanol alcohol and the alcohol that we drink <laughs> which is called ethanol and this um, alcohol actually um, I can uh, <coughs> find in saliva so I put actual uh, the two alcohols into different samples of saliva and at 5% I can get it down to uh, work. Uh, it's a nitrization test and it involves spectrophotometry and uh, then it uh, actually works uh, very well. Uh, it just needs to be improved in sensitivity, um, a small amount, uh, which would be very easy if we got uh, some design or molecule and attach it on to the sodium nitrite uh, that I'm using in the experiment at the moment. So I started in April last year uh, because I entered the start of the project into another competition. Uh, it was the SciFest up in Limerick and it won best overall project there. And uh, then I thought I'd develop it on for here then and uh, it turned out great. I got a phone from my mom this morning and it was just like you were on the front of the newspaper and I was like in shock because it was the last thing I expected. I mean I was interviewed before it but uh, I didn't like expect to be on the front page or anything like that. So.